Hello and welcome back to Sakya Trizen. I am only minorly frightened of the uh, large nation above us, the Karakanid uh, nation, because, um, well, basically, they only have 5,000 men. So they're not that strong, although they do have nomadic vassals, which actually they can call into every war. Oh my god, I'm very, very scared of them, because they could wipe us out any moment if they wanted to. I don't think they have the best of CBs, and in fact, I think if we were to build up fort level, we could probably hold them off for quite some time. But yes, uh, not a huge fan of what's going on over there. We probably want to start marrying off our children, but they're not old enough yet, so we're, st we're in a bit of an odd position. Anyway, uh, we could potentially attack for that land. I think it's... We have someone with a claim on it. We have Dlo who has a claim on it. If we gave Dlo uh, this... Raided and looted the county that I didn't really care about. We could... Uh, it's our old capital. But then we could potentially attack into Mantha. And that's possible. Yeah. That's, that seems like a good place to expand into, in fact. Yeah. Let's do that. Wait, how many men do we have? We, we should wait for our levies to be charged before we do that. Yeah, definitely. A defensive pact opposing this person has disbanded because they don't have land anymore, so... Team is fair to me. News from China. The Pale Rider is done reaping his terrible harvest in China and a devastating plague appears to have receded. Things are returning to no normal and the Middle Kingdom seems stable. Interesting. So that means... We have the stable one, which means the Silk Road is now worth a ton more. Fantastic. Uh, it should be worth its normal amount now. If we wait a second or two... That is its normal amount. Okay. So we should start making... Yeah, we're now making 18 a month. Which is very good. We need to build a temple for part of our mission. Um, we need uh, 630. Which we actually pretty much have next month. So we'll let that take over. Go a little bit above. There we go. I would like to build a temple. In, in our own province. Because that will get us the most benefit. Let's see what else we've got. My marshal tells me one of my commandos, Shine Long, has improved significantly. Fantastic. He's now a siege leader and gained some marshal. That's good. Um, we have him on the wrong task, though. He should be training troops. Don't know why he's on the wrong task. It's, I think it's the default task, but yeah, it's not ideal. Where do we have this guy fabricating claims? Pokara. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, still makes sense. He's probably going to find a claim now that we don't have enough money. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Not much we can do about that. Uh, you've taken land from this person. Look, is that my vassal or is that that's someone else's vassal? So I guess... Wait, no, that was my vassal. Uh, in the end, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely my vassal. So this guy now holds this land over here. Wait, no. Oh, no, he is underneath one of my vassals. I, I, I see where I went wrong. Yes, he is underneath one of my vassals who should actually... Now that I look at it, he should have... Uh, yeah, a place in my council. Yeah, he can replace that guy. Perfect. We now have another person who likes us. Go for a claim in Pokhara. That's fine. Where's some weak claims we could press? Uh, none of them are really that interested. Uh, I see the High Chiefdom. Well, they're all against the Western Protectorate, which can now be protected by China, which makes them a little bit scarier. Yeah. So a revolt over here. Any good CBs we got? It's all border disputes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Are they the right... Re okay, so we don't have the Holy War on Hindu because there's part of the same religious group, I think? Yeah, okay. Fair enough, but we have we would have it on that guy. Um, So, actually, that guy has 6,000 men. He's a little bit busy. We don't have Holy War on him. Did we not have a Holy War on somebody? I'm sure we had the option to Holy War somebody. Uh, Wait, is the next level up? Yeah, we can Holy War this guy. He is also Sunni. I wonder what the conditions are, because we can't Holy War this one, and he is Sunni. Oh no, we can, I just need to scroll down. It turns. Yeah, whatever. Scroll bar. Very complex, uh, mystical science going on there. Anyway. Um, wonder, can we see where our temple progress is? Not really, we can only really see it down there, can't we? Uh, it should be finished in a year's time. Okay. Uh, you think this person's plotting treason against me and I can force them out of a faction. 
Not in the faction though, so I'll keep the information to myself. Fair enough. Yet another morning where I wake up feeling as tired as I did when I went to bed. I should do something about my listless mind. Definitely, I'm going to go for prayer and meditation. Regency is over, and I'm out of my cave. Temper or diligent? Come on. Neither. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. Continue gaining tons of cash. Well, do we want to upgrade in our capital next? Um, probably training grounds or keep. Keep, I think, is the next one. So, four, 420. There are a few monasteries close by with lay members of the Savaka Sangya uh, frequently convene. As such, it is expected that I every so often attend these meetings and that I spend a fair amount of time in these monasteries to get in touch with the monastic foundations of the order. Such a period is about to start. Fair enough, fair enough. Continue gaining some cash. Um, yeah, okay, so I've been at the monastery for a few days, surrounded by others who mostly share my passion. Yes, yes. I find, find myself missing a friend, and we're going to try and become friends with this guy. So how are we going to do it? Well, he's stubborn, just, honest, humble, patient, and stressed, and he has a garden and not a lot of funds. Okay. Um, probably not military strategy. He doesn't seem like a... I was going to say he doesn't seem like a religious type, but he is part of the same society, but it doesn't seem fully into religion. And managing a realm? Well, we could talk to him about that. You know. Well, wait, so he discussed realm management with someone else, actually. Interesting. So that... Okay. Or we could have some small talk. Let's discuss realm management. He already has that one, so we'll see if it works. Uh, I think that actually doesn't matter what option you pick, but uh, I was just trying to see what made sense in the world as a whole. But we had a good time. It doesn't seem like... Anagami uh, Dronjian was too enamored with, my, with the activity I suggested. It's doubtful the seeds of our friendship will grow any further after all. Oh. Oh well. Oh. Did Zaya just take some land off the Western Protectorate? It looks like it, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, if we could declare a war, that would actually... We could get some serious... We could get the whole thing for one of our vassal. Wait, is that a kingdom level claim you have, or is that a... It is a kingdom level claim, so that's not something we want to press, because that means he would take his land to the new kingdom. Nachu... That's a duchy level claim. Okay. Midong is a single claim. Single claim. Karm. I think that's another kingdom level. Yeah, or oh, Cam, sorry. Uh... Q-Tang? Okay, but that too seems like a good one. Yeah. It's like we could potentially get something going there. So I'm not sure. It, it definitely says like China would help because they're part of the Western Protectorate. But I'm not sure how much China really gives in terms of power. It doesn't really say anywhere. They have a lot of money, so maybe that's what they provide. Instead of providing men, they provide money to the war, like mercenaries. It's, it's really hard to tell, like, from this screen exactly. I guess that's part of the point. I don't know. We'll leave it for just now. Uh, my daughter was murdered. Um, a little bit worried about that, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I don't really want anyone murdering my daughters. Uh, the peasants of Manguel have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance. Uh, I support it. Definitely. We get some more tax as well for that. News from China. Rumours of the military might of the Song Empire is proving to be a forcible diplomatic tool in itself. At what seems like brief negotiations, Maraja Vigrahastamba of the Buma Palat Kingdom uh, has peacefully agreed to become a tributary state of the Middle Kingdom. The couriers whisper that they can only hope the relationship um, is a fruitful one. Okay, so we have a new member of the Western Protectorate. Fair enough, fair enough. People are forming alliances within my realm. That's just not on, obviously. Keep gaining money. We'll get that keep any day now. What is our... Yeah, we almost have a full levy. This is a revolt. I can't... I can't... 
Okay, that seems like a very good revolt to attack if we can. Yeah, we could take some land off of that. We could definitely grab something. Okay, we have a couple of people who are landed and have claims. So how big is the revolt? So there's 5,000. Ah, it's a really big revolt. Oh, wow. So big, actually, that this is split off. That must be a succession revolt, I imagine. Did he just uh, get become in charge? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he did, pretty much. Well, close enough. He, he just came in charge. Okay. Uh, I just noticed we don't actually have a border with, the, with those guys up there. Could attack into there, actually, as well. That's another good potential place to attack. Yeah. It's probably worth doing one of these, at the very least. That seems like a much better revolt to attack. So that's the Urgistan revolt. So Urgistan would be those guys, I assume. So I can't see anywhere that actually says Ur Urgistan. Yeah, okay. I'll we'll assume that's those guys. They only have 600 men. We'll declare our war and we'll try and take, you know, take what we can. Uh, raise up our troops. Uh, call in our ally. And, I mean, no, our ally only has 60 troops anyway. Looks like they're probably going to lose the war before we even get there, but that's fine. Which one of these? This one has a lot of supply limit. Uh, so there's the one above it, actually. So we'll head up to that one. That seems reasonable. Yep. Told you. War's going to be over. Uh, expand all. Do you have people who are not in our provinces? Those ones. Yeah. So if you head back, the rest of you can just be disbanded. Yeah. There we go. It was worth a shot on that one. Just because if it had worked out, you know, it would have been very, very good. But it didn't work out, so that's fine. Seems all right to me. We're down a couple troops. I think I disbanded some there that were actually outside our territory. Doesn't really matter. Uh, is this the same revolt as the other revolt? I should actually check that. Yeah, it's the same revolt. Uh, special character actions. Negotiate with the next people who are raiding our lands. No, we're not going to negotiate anymore. That's fine. Uh, we're pleased to hear you have completed the construction of a new temple. It should go a long way to spread the word of Brahma every f ever further. Nice! And we have a new temple, which we could hold on to ourselves, and I think we will just now. Um, right, so are we ready to level up? Not quite, we need a thousand, we have enough devotion, have we just not been here long enough? We must have two virtues to level up. Oh, wow. Interesting. We have impressed, uh, Ting, uh, what's that, Ting, uh, Gezen? Okay, I'm not even going to try that one. Uh, there's far too many... Um, I forget the proper term, so I'm just going to call them hats. Which is now... Um, we've retained correspondence on various religious and philosoph uh, philosophical matters for some time. And find that we are rapidly becoming good friends. Fantastic. Good. Uh, who is he? He is one of our vassals. In a way. He's also a lunatic and has the pox, so maybe not as fantastic, but that's fine. Um, my wish is to become a better Buddh my wish to become a better Buddhist has led me to the Noble Eightfold Path. Since I joined the Savaka Sangha, I have practiced charity. Yet it was not until today I realized I was truly glad to let go of my personal possessions. Helping those in need is truly fulfilling. We are charitable. Nice. One, it gives us a lot of diplomacy, and two, we can rank up. We can go all the way to Anagami. Okay, so we can invite learned nobles to our court, and we can teach virtues to people. Very, very good. Okay. I'm going to rank up, or requ request to rank up. Okay. Uh, this guy's taking a duchy. That's fine. He's also my council anyway. Oh, no. Oh, so he's usurped... He was already on my council, but he usurped the duchy from someone else who was on my council as well. Oh, well, that's not ideal. So we need a new chancellor. It's going to be this guy then, I guess. Unless we have a powerful vassal. No, this guy. 
I said we'll put in the loyalist instead. But loyalist is just worse. No, we'll put in that guy. Uh, go fabricate claims in Pokhara. That's fine. We have been granted a rank up. Nice. So, we still have a little bit of devotion to spend. I think we might try and give us our son a virtue, although he already has diligent, patient, and humble. Which is pretty good. Uh, what do we have? We already have all the vir- Like, he already has all of our virtues. We can't teach him anything. Ah, typical children. Can't teach him anything. Uh, anyway. Let's go and upgrade our levy size. That'll get us a little bit of a boost. Uh, yeah, we're doing well on men. Yeah, I think I'm fine just uh, kind of expanding for just now. The Crooked. Uh, Galpo Hurgel Lachen the Sixth. Baya Chup Sen Pa of Mario, otherwise known as our brother in law. It's called in the favor we owe him in order to force us to pardon his devious crimes. We'll no longer be able to take hostile actions against him without looking like a tyrant uh, in the eyes of the realm. All right, fair enough. It's called in the favor to basically uh, pardon himself. Seems fine to me. There is a peasant's revolt. Well, we are going to have to raise up men to deal with that one. Uh, you guys head over there. Everybody else head up this way. You don't need to come because you're walking directly through enemy territory. Uh, you head up this way as well. There we go. Have to disband those men because they're just going to get destroyed by the revolt. Otherwise, that's fine. We still lost a battle because these guys, for some reason, the Buddhist uprising decided to come out and pick on us. Which makes no sense because we are the Buddhist state, effectively. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we have to choose what we want our daughter to be educated with. Faith seems fairly good. She doesn't really have any stats of any kind. Oh, wait, she's a she's our six-year-old. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, Faith. Let's go for that. Um, and then our son probably doesn't have one either. Yeah, we'll give him... Let's go with double Faith. We're going to be a very Faith-orientated um, family for a while. We'll see how that goes. Right, continue merging up. Nice, somebody else decided to run into the Peasants' Revolt for us. I like it. Uh, chat, this is our second son. Yeah, second son, getting educated. So again, he has Conscientious, which is good. He's probably gonna have to take Intrigue. Yeah, he also has Haughty, which is always bad. Fussy can be fairly bad. Yeah. Or we could give him Marshall, which is neutral. We'll give him Marshall. It's neutral and it'll give us a little bit more variety. Yeah, that works out for me. Reports have reached us that traders and travelers are being harassed by your, by raiders in your lands of Paro. Okay. So, I'll let them continue if they share the loot. So that lowers our trade value in Paro, which doesn't sound good. Uh, it does get us some instant gold. I don't really need them. We can send my marshal to hunt them down, or I can go and hunt them down. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go and hunt them down. I think that's, that's the kind of person we are. Um, yeah, I think so. Let's do it. After sunset, I managed to track down the raider's encampment. Me and my men decide to... Um... Well... I think we're going to enter the camp and approach their leader. I don't think we're the sneaky type here, although we are very good at being sneaky. Maybe we could have sne snuck. Not sure. Anyway, doesn't really matter. As so we enter the camp, we pass clusters of tents and campfires. While I can only see small, uh, a small group of raiders, I can feel many eyes upon me. Approaching the center of the settlement, a silhouette, who I assume is the leader of the raiders, exits a large tent and greets me with a smirk. So I can fight them, I can diplomatically explain why they can't harass travelers, or I can bribe them. Uh, I'm going to diplomatically explain it. Let's see how that goes. We'll engage in a fairly one-sided conversation about property and rights. I fail to notice the thug sneaking up behind me. I just barely notice the leader making a subtle nodding motion before a sharp blow to the back of my head robs me of consciousness. Ow! I'm brought to consciousness by the sound of laughter and shouts. 
As my eyes adjust to the unforgiving sunlight, I realize that I have been tied up. The raiders have dressed me in silly clothes and are parading me around the town, demanding a pile of gold in return for my freedom. Do we give them the gold, or do we plead for mercy? You know what? I think we, we're going to have to pay them for our freedom, as horrible as it is. Well, we don't actually have the money, really. You know what? We'll, we'll plead for mercy for just now. Yeah, that went very, very badly. Uh, factions. He's not in one, so I'm just going to keep the information to myself. Right, we have 3,000 men. Let's go up here and beat him up. We have more than 3,000. We have 7,000. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So, let's just keep going. Everyone knows that I've spent over a decade directing the work of my book. When today I'm presented with the final product. Smiling broadly, I can't help but swell with a sense of well-deserved pride. Have I found my calling? Um, Speculum Regal has been added to our treasury. You get a lot of prestige and I get uninspired. Okay. So what is it? It is a book on diplomacy, vassal opinion, and own children opinion. An educational work cleverly disguised as a father's conversation with his son. Nice. That's good. So vassal, that's, doesn't require, doesn't have any requirements like this one. So it's just always active. So always diplomacy is up for our leader and vassal opinion is up and their own children opinion is up. That's just really good overall. Yeah, I like that. Well, um, hopefully we can use it more at some point. I thought that was our land that had been sieged down. But yeah, I'm hoping that that doesn't get... Like, there is a chance of artifacts getting destroyed between generations, so hopefully that one doesn't. Our son has finished his education. Uh, he has become a flamboyant schemer. So he's actually not very good at anything. Just very... Like, he's actually a very average heir, given his amazing stats at age 12. He's wasted potential. He is, however, diligent, patient, humble, and gregarious. Okay. We're going to marry him off. Let's find someone to marry him to. So, sort by age. We'll find someone about the right age for him. Um, okay. So, we'll start at like 18 and go down. So, sister of the Can of Alte. Up there. Potentially. Seems pretty good. Nice. It'd be nice if we could keep this menu up and sorted the whole time while we were going through these things, but I don't think you can. Let's need to remember. So, sister of the Can of Alte. Uh, daughter of, I think, of oh, someone in uh, Yu Tseng. Okay, that's fine. Uh, someone in Zaya. Okay. And Tura. Daughter of the Can of Zedzi. Over here. Again, fairly alright option. Uh, wait, that was our son. Sort again. We could always go to this one and use that to sort, but... Uh, this one seems to be pretty good right now. Like this uh, Sparse Finder. And they updated it in the patch, so I want to try it out and see whether it produces good results. We have Baj, who is the daughter of a mercenary uh, captain. Okay. And we have Boshi, who is the daughter of one of the Yuin clan. Okay. I think we might marry Zenzi, assuming that the stats were good. I didn't really look at them first. Um, so, sort by age. And down to... It just wasn't you. It was you, I think? Nope. Oh, you. Yeah, Zenzi. So she is diligent, charitable, a bit deceitful and shy. Overall, fairly fine. Uh, our other option didn't have any good stats and was child of a concubine. Yeah, we have, we have an attractive lady down here, but... Uh, is the daughter of Zedzi as well. Is a better daughter of Zedzi. Uh, do we want to wait the three years, though? Yeah, sure. We'll get that marriage going. Yes, um, that seems good. Right, we'll see whether that gets accepted, which of course it does. 
and we will form our alliance. He doesn't want one, but he actually does. It's only because he doesn't like us. We'll send him a gift as well. A marriage gift. We'll form our alliance. Yes. Nice. Grab that. And I think we're going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.